Hello everyone, only Draven here again, and today we're doing another tutorial in Minecraft Sky Factory 4. Today I'm going to be showing you how to automate lava production using a cauldron and an automated user. Um, uh, lava production is something you need for a lot of different stuff. Uh, for example, the smelter you can see back behind me there. Uh, so this is a great way of just automating that process as much as possible. Um, now, if you find the video helpful, you like it, please be sure to click like, and most importantly, please remember to hit that subscribe button. That way you'll be able to see all my tutorials and my videos as they come out. All right. So, things we're going to need today. Uh, we're going to be using a cobblestone generator. Uh, you can use any of the different levels of them, but we'll just use a base one for this. That's going to be six pieces of cobblestone, a piece of glass, a bucket of water, and a bucket of lava. We'll need one of those. Next, we'll need item extraction cables. That's going to be four iron nuggets, one weighted pressure plate, and one dropper. We're also going to need some fluid extraction cables, almost the same recipe, a weighted pressure plate, a dropper, but four gold nuggets. Next, we're going to need an automated user. That's going to be three pieces of obsidian, two gold ingots, a dispenser, and a magma block. And then we're also going to need a metal drum, and that is going to be a wooden barrel, two weighted pressure plates, and six iron plates. All right, so we're also going to need a power source, and for this, I'm just using a very basic, simple combustion generator. I've already got it set up with some wood here, got some power in it. Uh, you can use pretty much any of the generators that will provide RF to the um, automated user. So, we'll go ahead and grab our supplies here. All right, so right off the bat, most of these things are going to be up on a second tier. So we're going to go two steps behind our generator, and that's where we're going to set our cobblestone generator, and we're going to put a chest on top of that. It's going to start feeding cobblestone into our chest. Next, we're going to take our automated user, and we're going to set it on top of the combustion generator facing away from the chest like that. You're going to connect those with an item extraction cable pulling from the chest which will move cobblestone into your automated user. Now right off the bat you want to go ahead and I'm going to turn that off so it's not trying to push anything out right now. Now next we're going to need a torch and then we're going to set ourselves a cauldron in on top of the torch. So we're going to shift, right click, that sets ourselves a cauldron right here. Okay. Now as you know, cobblestone put inside of a cauldron over a torch will create lava. Now next we need to pull the lava out of there. So two blocks to the right, I'm going to set down another cobblestone generator, and I'm going to put down our metal drum. We're then going to use a fluid extraction cable. And we're going to shift, right click, to pull from the cauldron into the barrel. And that is pretty much our setup. So we've got power, going to our user, cobblestone generator, creating cobblestone and feeding into the user. The user will be placing cobblestone into our cauldron, and the lava produced from the cauldron will move into the metal drum. So now we go back to our automated user, right click on that, and always on. As you can see, all the cobblestone that was inside turned into lava and fed directly into the barrel. And as cobblestone produces, it will continue to fill that up until it hits maximum. And that is all that's needed. The only thing you'll have to do occasionally is if you're using any form of RF source that requires a fuel is to occasionally refill the fuel. But that's pretty much it. Now you have pretty much an infinite lava source. It's just going to continue to produce it until the barrel fills. Now, you can feed this directly instead of a barrel into a smeltery. So you could have it going directly into your lava tank if you wanted to set one up that way, or have it pull from your barrel into the lava tank. Um, you can also feed lava into other different productions and sources as well, generators and things. But this is going to continue to just produce lava. Very, very simple setup. 
And once it's going, other than occasionally providing fuel to whatever your power source is, it's going to be pretty constant. So, well, that's it for this build. Um, I hope you found that helpful. I know it was something that a lot of people have been asking for um, and questioning about on the different forums and Reddit and such. So uh, hopefully that's something that's going to help you with your lava production. Um, again, if you have any questions about this tutorial or any of my tutorials, please be sure to put those down in the comments as well, um, or any recommendations you have for other Sky Factory 4 tutorials you'd like to see. Uh, but that's going to do us for today. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.